Hey guys, welcome once again to Dead Mall Walking. Today's episode features some footage of what used to be my childhood blockbuster video, even quieter than usual thanks to lockdown, which will lead me into a wider discussion of a key difference in how shuttered retail spaces are treated in the US versus here in the UK. Before we get to the live video, let's take a quick trip back in time to what this place used to look like back in 2008 courtesy of Google Maps. I figured there was no point leaving it till the end since the title of this video has already removed all the mystery there could have been. I did once purchase an ex-rental blockbuster DVD from inside the store after it changed hands, but I haven't been able to track down my old membership card. The quick drop is long gone and the only thing that appears to be pretty much unchanged, as far as I can tell, is the carpet. As you can see from these stills, and will probably know from your own experience if you're American, there's a big trend in the US of repurposing closed stores but leaving the exterior pretty much untouched. I'm thinking of distinctive buildings like former Pizza Huts and Taco Bells in particular here, which are always easy to spot. For whatever reason, things are very different here in the UK. It's rare for new owners to leave any indication of what their space used to be, which you can see from this spot. Every semblance of blue and yellow has been obliterated by red paint and siding, and it's unlikely you'd know what this place used to be just by looking at it. I'm not exactly sure why retail heritage gets decimated like this in the UK, though I wonder if it's because external branding and shop fitting tends not to be quite so distinctive here. Also, companies seem to prefer to level old buildings and start from scratch in a lot of cases. Major defunct British brands like CNA, Comet, Dixons, JJB Sports and Safeway, not to mention current brands like Marks and Spencer or John Lewis, don't really have much in the way of architectural quirks that set them apart. That might be the case because so many of them got their start in the British High Street, where there are often strict regulations on how you can build. We don't have hot topics with their distinctive red brick exteriors, like you can see in this still here, or Wendy's with their signature enclosed glass areas and most of our McDonald's have already been subjected to new branding that means they don't look like the old school versions of the restaurant we know and love. It felt good to get out there and do some more filming after being trapped inside for so long, and I got some footage of another spot that I'll be uploading pretty soon too. Be sure to subscribe for that, follow me on Instagram, and please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to return those videotapes.